Yo Gotti and DJ Drama dropped the uh, I Showed You So Gangster Grills mixtape, which I was highly anticipating. Um, back in 20, I oh, know, excuse me, 2006, I believe it was, they did uh, I Told You So. So this was kind of like, you know, uh, Drama's Ooh. doing his Gangster Grills revamp. With everybody. With mm-hmm. everybody. And um, so they said, I showed you so this time. Well, what struck me about it, first thing I saw was a double disc. I love a Gotti double disc. I'm looking, I'm looking at the features. I see Moneybag Yo on one record. I see Rich Homie Quan on one, on one record on disc one. Disc two, I see Moneybag Yo, Rich Homie Quan. Come to find out, they're the same songs on both discs. Yeah, mm-hmm. fucked me up. When I downloaded yeah, it, I and they like, split it into two albums when I downloaded it, see, which mine, was weird. It, mine, when I, it, it was one album, it just said one through 10, and then it continued one through 10. Mm. So I'm like, the hell? So I'm listening. One, the first disc is the I Showed You So album with DJ Drama talking, you know, doing his Gangsta Grills shit all over the uh, music. And then the second disc is the exact same album, just no drama. Mm. Which was a little weird to me. Do you think he knew that was going to happen? Who? Oh, drama. drama. I, I don't know. I don't know. Could have been I, intentional. I don't understand the point of it, though. Why would you do that, though? That's the part that got me. Like, why would you, you're Some people don't want to hear the DJ on the song. Hear, like, yeah, he didn't want the DJ on the song. So don't do a gangster do girls. Drop, drop your own EP. I feel like I've, there's been other mixtapes that have dropped with the non-DJ version going Nick out. Nick did it with Crenshaw, which was the, the $100 tape. Uh-huh. He dropped three versions of it. It was the one you paid 100 the proud to pay. Mm-hmm. That had the, the physical CD that had drama, excuse me, that had drama on it. Mm-hmm. There was a version that went for sale on iTunes that did not have drama on it. And then there was a version that was on Dat Piff that had drama on it. Okay. So that, I get, you know, putting it different places, mm-hmm. but you, you, you delivered the same project, half of it one way, half of it the other way, I, in the streaming era. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that's the part that confused me. Cause you're fucking up your streams for your songs. Like you put a single out, and now that single it, that can be heard two different ways. Yeah, but gotcha. now it don't count as one song. <laughs> it, mm, it might, might it might, it might. I think it the times, still. the time has has to match. They so don't match. The title and the I, time. I check the times. They don't because a lot of the records, like with drama talking, or he'll run it back. He'll start the song over. So uh, some of them, are, like the intro, uh, I think on the the original version is it's like a. 30 second difference. Oh, or drama wow, okay. might be talking for 10 seconds in the, in the beginning, yes. maybe and another 10 seconds drop, at yeah. the end. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm more shocked at him just putting both of these out at the same time. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, even that's if he weird. did the fake deluxe. Because I would drop my drama version, I would let the, see what the fans are saying, and maybe a couple weeks later or a month later, I'm coming right back with the dramaless version. Yeah. I've seen that happen before. But to drop them together, it just confused me. But as the, in terms of the actual project, it's, it's a really good right on par with what Gotti does. I've been playing it. And I like drama. Drama adds to a tape. Mm-hmm. Like when he does his, his, his shit talking in there. For sure. So I do like the version with him on there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to play a record as a sleeper later off of it. I just, didn't, I just didn't understand the decision of putting your song out twice. Some people don't want to hear that shit. But why mm-hmm. am I doing it? Why would I do it then? That shit really fucked ice up. <laughs> nah, I, should, I was Look looking forward. I'm looking forward to this shit. You know, this is we looking forward to. And you got Gotti both, or drama? both versions. Who are you looking forward to, Gotti or drama? When I saw, because I know what the first one was. The I told you so is a classic mixtape. Got it. So when the, it's like drama and Jeezy reuniting, saying we're doing the gangster grills like they did with Snowfall last year. Mm-hmm. A fan who knows what these two mean together on the tape, or drama and Wayne doing the tape together. Like, oh shit, this is not just a Wayne mixtape. This is when drama and Wayne get together, we know what we're getting. So, yeah, it builds higher anticipation. What you, what's okay. Up? All right. You just you like the voice of DJ Drama. I like what he's saying. When he, when he, when brings he, when he, he get it. in on his shit talking mode, he adds to a song. Got it. It ain't like I'm just yelling over a track, being annoying. It, it, nah, I don't think he's it, annoying. No. Some no. DJs do too much on a record. Talking over the actual vocals and shit. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that, but but it was a great project. Um, Gotti has been on a run of projects. I want to say for the last maybe five six years, where each one has just been knocking him out the park. Yeah, Gotti's him. Gotti's him. No question. And he did this one. He didn't have his whole camp on there. This wasn't. True. It's this pretty one, short. It's only like yeah, 20, 10, 29 10, minutes or some shit. This wasn't. Uh, you know, I'm 
all my people. Y'all know who I got signed over here. Everybody not on this one. Mm-hmm. This is, I can and still it was, do this. It was a little bit more his like traditional sound mm-hmm. to me, more so than like the last one was more soul samples. This one was just more Memphis sound. Yeah. New Joe Biden.